Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on everybody? It's Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. Uh today we're gonna replace my rod holders. Uh, it, the ones I have, it, it worked perfectly fine when I only had like two or three reels, but I've seemed to accumulate about seven or eight rods and I can only fit like three really good right there. So I'm gonna take them off and I bought two of these shoreline fishing rod tie downs from Walmart. They're about seven bucks a piece. And we're gonna take the old ones off, install the new ones, and see how good they work. Do they work better? Cause, cause at the moment, I take a bungee cord and I go around my rods and I hook it into here. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot better and a little bit of upgrade and keep my rods secure. Cause you know, Lake Mary, the party boat lake, hit a lot of waves, your rod gonna go in the water. Anyways, I'm going to take these old ones off. We're going to open this pack, see what all comes with it. Uh, for tools, I've got a Phillips and a flathead and a multi-tool. Hopefully, I don't have to go get the drill. We'll see. I may have to go get the drill, but let's do it. guys we got the old one off i've already put one of them on so we're gonna open up the next one put it on i'll show you how i do that i had to go get the drill because cell type screw and aluminum i mean you could do it but i ain't doing all that <laughs> all right let's open it up all right so pretty much it comes with Elastic band has a place for a screw here, and this goes over. All right, in this little pack, you got three screws one for the band and two for that. So, what you do, you want to measure it out, you want to take this off, it just slides right down, and that makes it so you can push this through here or you just take it out huh this one's different than the other one the other one you could push it through but on this one i suppose you just take it out and you want to cut it to where like if you want it to go from here you want to cut it there then push it back in and then you take what you took off and push it back up and it locks onto it so it clamps down onto the, the band. And that's how you adjust them. So I'm gonna adjust it for right here. Let's install it, put some rod and reels on it and see what it looks like. setup overall what do i think of, of it so far very easy to install so, i mean it's three screws you could get away with just having one i went ahead and get two so i can keep the butt end of the rods down they do move a little bit but honestly it can't be much different than what i had before they're not gonna just jump out the boat see this right here you know clean install 
I went over here and this one did crack. So if you're using the impact drill, be careful about that. It is plastic, but I went ahead and fixed it my way. It ain't going nowhere, but I mean, there's still a little bit of give in here, but when you go up here, there's barely any give at all on this one. So it should work pretty good at keeping them down. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. A little quick tips. I'm about to get rigged up, ready to roll to the lake. If you enjoyed a video like this, hit the like button for me. If you're new to the channel and enjoy fishing, share the video on Facebook so I can get some more subscribers. We're almost at 400. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah.